Hey there! If you're watching this, it's because you want to activate your plan with eSIM on an Android phone. Before we begin, here's a little video cheat sheet for you. First things first, make sure you haven't canceled your current service yet. If you're bringing your number, you'll also need your account number, billing zip code, and number transfer pin from your current carrier to complete the transfer. The number transfer pin may only be valid for a brief time, so we recommend getting it right before you're ready to activate. And make sure your current carrier doesn't have a port or transfer lock on your number. And if you're bringing more than one line from the same account to Mint, make sure you transfer the primary account holder's number last. Your Android phone also needs to be unlocked and compatible with our service. And make sure your Android software is fully up to date. Ready? Let's get activating! First, connect to a stable Wi-Fi network and download the Mint Mobile app from the Google Play Store. Open it and select Activate Your SIM Card. The app should detect that your Android phone is eSIM compatible. When prompted, enter your 11-digit ACT code. Then it's time to make a decision about your phone number. Select Keep Your Current One to bring your phone number to Mint. If you want a new number, select Get a New One and don't worry about these next few steps. Enter your phone number and zip code then select your current carrier, enter your account number, billing zip code, and your number transfer pin. Finally, enter your first name, last name, and email to submit the number transfer request. You can check the status of your transfer in the app or wait till you receive the confirmation email. Once the transfer is complete, or if you got a new number, it's time to install that eSIM. When this pop-up appears, select Scan QR Code and the app will direct you to your phone settings and guide you through the installation. In your phone settings, turn off any previous eSIMs. Also, be sure to remove any physical SIM cards before installing your Mint eSIM. Tap Add eSIM, then select Set up an eSIM and follow the steps to confirm your network. Select Use this SIM and make sure you've chosen the Mint Mobile Network. Once you're done installing your eSIM and you've set up your password to finish creating your account, you're good to go. If you don't get a signal right away, just restart your phone and that should do it. Now it's time to watch our video about configuring your Android's data settings so it can access the internet. See you there!